What's good, everyone? How you guys doing today? We're back again with another episode of our world tour. And today, our topic is about the Cause International Streetwear. And the Cause International Streetwear was kind of, it's kind of unique how we started because we didn't really go into it right away. Like, okay, we're going to start a streetwear. Like, this is going to be the brand. Um, this is our designs. This is our logos. It kind of just came about. And I think sometimes those are the best businesses when you didn't really have a game plan, but it kind of fell into your lap. And that's kind of like what happened with us. But we start to realize, like just people all around the city start tapping into us like, dang, we love what you're doing for the community. We love how you're helping high school kids get to college. We love like what you're doing for the inner city and just, you know, internationally. So how can we support you? And we want to buy clothes, but we're not on a high school sports team. And that got me thinking like, dang, like what else can we do? You know, just a couple of friends, uh, colleagues, just talking to them. They said, why don't you start your own streetwear brand? People can then buy merch whenever they want to support you. And they can help your cause and give back. And in my head, I was like, sounds like a winner. So that's what we did. But the thing about me is, I don't know too much about fashion. My girl dresses me majority of the time. Our first design that we really committed to got us viral. And it was during BLM and obviously Black Lives Matter. And it was just a tough time for our nation. You know, we're in COVID. And I myself, you know, just being somebody that really cares for the community, cares for the world. Um, a lot of people, I think, in the city was like, look to me like, how's the cause going to rally behind this? You know, we just seen you guys go to Kenya and install a water filtration system. But what are you guys going to do now? It wasn't really the pressure from society, it was like more pressure within myself because I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to be front lines. I wanted to figure out how I can, you know, impact in the best way that I can. Whether that be learning more about gun laws, figuring out how we can petition, figure out how we can do something within our individual communities. And again, you know, creating apparel that's something that can be worn worldwide. When I created the apparel, I was like, you know what? I don't even want to charge for this. I want to create it for free. I want to donate shirts. I want people to express how they feel. How, like, what is your cause? And, like, how do you feel about what's happening? Because what my mother always told me, there's always two sides of every story. And during these tough times, you know, being an African-American male, um, police brutality hits hard. But also being a leader, somebody in our nation, worldwide, I want to understand different sides of it. I want to understand why you feel your way. I think we gave out 1,400 shirts and that was all in our dime. And basically people were like, you know what, I want to I want to get behind this. I want to support this. I want to wear this. And I said, all we want for you if we give you a shirt is to take a picture, tag us, and tell us your cause. And tell us how you're feeling about police brutality. And right there, I think us giving back, us showing the world that like, you know, during this time, instead of making money to profit, like let's let's put that money back in with our community. And I think when I decided to do that, God, he was like, you know, you're walking in your faith. You're walking for the people. And because of that, our t-shirt went viral and we were then placed on the BET Awards with Roddy Rich and Baby. That shirt meant so much to me because it made me realize like, even though you may not have the, have strong confidence in your designs or you know, maybe you're even a little nervous because you don't have the best fashion sense. If you just believe in God, if you just continue to work at it every day, and most importantly, surround yourself with people who have the same agenda, you're gonna persevere. We went crazy, we did way, we did something that we could never have thought about what we were gonna do. And that's what I loved about uh, the call streetwear because when that happened, it was, the, it was the birth of something so much bigger. Through that, Street where people are like, okay, like what, what are we gonna drop next? Like, what are we gonna do? And then I started to realize, you know what? I want the Cause International to be the way that we fund our give backs. Now with the Cause teams, that's majority for the high school kids. How we give back is how we help high school kids get to college. You know, we donate to high school kids so they can buy different things. But for us, for the international streetwear, I want whatever we make, I wanna take 50% of our profit and I wanna donate back um, to our nonprofit which is gonna allow us to travel around the world and install water filtration systems. It's crazy because I didn't want to start to call streetwear and now it's the number one way of how we fund our give backs. When you put yourself in uncomfortable situations, that's when you're gonna be able to rise to challenges. That's when you're gonna be able to, you know, 
you know, persevere through those hardships and get to the point that you need to be at. And when you get to that destination, you look back like, dang, like I leveled up. I figured out where I was slacking at. I figured out different things that was hard for me. And I was able to overcome my trials and tribulations. And I think that's exactly what the Call Streetwear did for us and allowed society to see like, man, this brand means so much more than clothes. And that's literally what I wanted this entire time. My passion was never with clothes, it's about changing the world. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to use, you know, not just me, but my entire team, you know, like our marketing director, like I said, Samantha, she's like our head designer of everything that we have. You know, Anna figured out different ways so she can create social media content so we can get more people getting behind us. Um, designers like Caitlin, Christine, thank you guys so much because you guys are allowing us to change the world. Without you guys and the creative minds that you guys have and the collective that we bring together, we can't change the world. Um, the Call Streetwear just showed me, you know, like one, anything is possible, two, go get uncomfortable, and three, most importantly, that now not only athletes are going to understand what the Calls International is about, but now we have the ability to have everyone, our goal is to have every, every person in the entire world to own one article of the cause of national streetwear because everyone wants to give back. Everyone has a cause and I can't wait to continue to keep sharing it. As part of the cause international, we have this amazing opportunity for you guys right now. If you buy anything off our site, whether it be a t-shirt, clothes, joggers, sweatsuit, or even just a face mask, with any purchase, you will receive a free vacation stay to the destination of your choice. We have 132 different options, whether that be domestically or internationally. So take advantage of this. And we want to say again, thank you guys for helping us give back to the world. So what I need you guys to do right now is to like, subscribe, and comment below. But most importantly, I need everyone to go to thecauseint.com. I need you guys to get some merch, get a free vacation, but most importantly, help us continue to make an impact in this world. Thank you.